I am challenging my friend Snafu, a professional Roblox scripter, to make a game in one day on Roblox. So I built the map, he scripted, and this is what happened. <sighs> Just woke up in my plain house. In my plain world. I think I need to make this world a little bit more interesting. Okay, I give up. I'm gonna try to make this a story, but like, I, it's a lot of work. And my channel's kinda dying, so I need to get this video out as soon as possible. For hour 1 of 24, I loaded it in and I got this working script to work because of Snafu, so appreciate it. So yeah, once you join in, it gives you jump power over time. That was kind of cheating since he already pre-made the script and we already have that done. So we're just going to start building the map and take one hour <gasps> off for that basically script that he just made. As you can see, I am building the base plate and we're going to change the color to something else. And we're also going to start adding a border around which will be like fences. The idea is that we have two spawn pads around this corner or one spawn pad and then we have somewhere you can jump up and you can keep going high up and eventually we'll get a win we're still an hour two so now we're going to make sure these fences look all right and yeah we're gonna try to do this as fast as possible so it's time lapse that i never actually built something so this is like my first time actually kind of trying Right, How long have you been doing uh, uh, scripting right. for though um i first started when i was um younger I mean, I want to say since I was like 13, maybe younger, 11, 10. From that point, it was really just off and on. When I started to script, I would go on, you know, make a game and, you know, try to figure things out. I have a pretty solid grasp on, on scripting. Yeah, I, I would say I do. I know yeah. lots of, I know, you know, how to perform most of the things. Like, I'd probably make my own simulator. Gotcha. I feel like you're doing a lot of work and I haven't really. Because been. even when I thought I had a good amount of information and knowledge about scripting, I learned so much in a course of making a game making a game that's how you learn so much when you try to make a game that's when yeah. you have to go through so many trials and errors and having to figure out what this means and how you can perform this or that in a, in a good way so i'm learning the ropes and how to copy and paste basically is what i'm doing at the moment but i'm just copy and pasting and making a border around as fast as possible so i can get this done idea is the part opposite side of the spawn pad right where i'm standing right now is where i'm going to have you can go up and at the top you can get one win when you stand on the part so now i think we're going to try to have two oh we forgot to anchor all that so now that we have that all anchored go over there and that's where we'll have our teleporter for stage two just for some looks we're going to add a path right here that leads from there to there and we're actually going to take out one spawn point then we're going to add another path that will lead the other way after. We're just going to need to get this one path done so we can make the next one very fast and easy. Can't find the clip where I added all this stuff, but I actually did add all this and it looks pretty good. So, yeah. Guys, watch this far in the video. Look, it takes around 174 jump power to get to the top of the first stage, which is very easy. And you get one one when you get up here. We haven't set that up, but we're going to set that up next. Hour three, we added a teleporter, which right here, I think we're gonna use a different one because this one doesn't work too well. So we're gonna change it out, but we're gonna add a teleporter now. At the top of here, I added a part which would extend out with the win button. And then you have a fence around just for looks, I guess. I don't really know why I did that. Just had some extra time, I guess. After adding a working teleporter, we got the winds to actually start working. So you jump on this pad right here and you should go up one win and then I'll restart your stuff and spawn you back down here. But with that one win, it will give you two or plus one every win. So your first one, I'll give you two. Your second one, I'll give you three. Your third one, I'll give you four. After so that, I wanted to add a working stage two or an actual stage two. As you see, we've done a little bit more. We added a shop GUI or a shop place and you can open up a shop GUI, which would then you can buy game passes and developer products. If you look right here, here's stage two. It goes up extremely high. We're probably going to increase this actually more, but this is as high as it goes right now. And at the top, you'll get 100 wins So if every you have time. any spare time and you want to just play a game, I suggest playing this. And uh, yeah, it definitely is something you can do in your spare time and try to get the best at. All right, guys. So about one or one and a half days later, we have the game completely finished or what we could get done. I wanted to try to make it as close as I can to a day, but there were some issues that we wanted to fix just to make this game a little bit better. 
So, uh, yeah, you guys kind of got clickbaited. I was making a game in one day, that's insane. But here we have the shop, it actually pops up that, you can see the game passes, and then I already own them all, but buy them, and they're not too expensive, but they're like a pretty good price. And then you get jump power over time, as you can see, I own the 2x one, the 2x jump power. Once you get to the top of here, you'll get wins, if I can uh, show you that. Now last jump, I think we only need like 170, if I'm not wrong around 170 jump power pretty far up pretty far come on come on there we go now you get your win you get two wins and now i'm getting four eight twelve sixteen so on and so forth then you can get more wins and when you actually get enough wins once you get 10 wins you can head over here and you can go on to here as you see i can right now you need 10 wins you know you need 10 wins to use this teleporter so yeah once you get 10 wins you can use that and go over to the next stage which when you get up there you'll get 20 wins every time or if you have 2x wins you'll get so yeah hopefully this video uh, inspired you if you want to think about making a roblox game and uh like subscribe also comment you can check out snafu or the guy that helps me discord he's making a roblox game very soon time this year is going to be coming out so yeah i will see you guys in the next one peace